Can you say hi? Not to me. Are you beautiful? Do you want your makeup done? Huh? Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jenny. Today's video is going to be my March favorites and fails. It's crazy to think that it's already April of 2018. So I'll go ahead and start with my favorite products. And the first favorite product that I have is the Makeup Geek Highlighter in the shade Luster. This is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. It's like a pinky toned highlight, which you know is my thing. Makeup Geek highlighters are very nice and very beautiful. Like look at that. Holy cannoli. They apply very light when you put them on, but you can build them up to be like their foiled eyeshadows. Um, their formula is very nice and it lasts all day. It's a very, very good highlighter formula. And this one in particular is gorgeous because it's pink tone. <laughs> the next product is also a Makeup Geek product and it is the Fair Skin Bronzer in the shade Sun Kiss. This is a stunning bronzer. It's a little on the warmer tone side uh, compared to what I normally use because I normally use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. But this bronzer is gorgeous. It's very buttery and it applies beautifully. I don't have it on today and I don't have that highlighter on today either actually. Um, but I've been reaching for this more than my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and that's saying a lot. This just gives the face a gorgeous like warmth, like the sun kiss glow and I just can't get enough of it. I can't stop wearing it. It's become my favorite bronzer. It truly has. It just, it applies like butter. It is so good. The next product, actually, <laughs> I bought it on March 31st and then I tried it on that day and it's it's my new favorite. It is the Milani All Over Blending. The handle of it says All Over Blending, but the packaging said it was a highlighter brush, so that's why I bought it. It has a nice taper to it, so it picks up product really nice. I'll actually go ahead and apply that luster shade for you. See, it just like picked up the nicest amount. It's just beautiful and this applies every highlighter I've tried it with. I've tried it with like three or four highlighters. All of them are different types of formulas and they all applied beautifully with this brush. I don't remember how much this brush was. I want to say it was like seven-ish dollars um, and it's definitely worth it. It's very, very nice. The last favorite I have is the Flower Beauty Lash Warrior Mascara. I've really, really been liking this mascara. It is a plastic wand. And it has like a curve to it and it gets a little fatter towards the end. This gives my lashes a lot of volume and quite a bit of length, but mostly volume, which is what I need is more volume. I do really, really like this mascara though. My only issue is with the wand where the bristles are so pointy. I do end up poking my eyeballs out a lot with it, but I like the result of my lashes so much that I don't mind. Um, and this is pretty affordable too. It was like $8-ish and it comes in like three or four shades of black and brown and stuff like that. So I really, really have been enjoying this mascara. The final favorite of mine is not a makeup product. It is a TV show and that is Riverdale. I have been obsessed with Riverdale. It's kind of like the characters are based off of the Archie Cosmetics. Archie Cosmetics, the Archie comic cartoons. Um, so all of the characters have their names. Someone dies and like all these teenagers are trying to solve the mystery of it. And I've just been super, super obsessed with it. So um, it's on, the first season is on Netflix and the second season is either on Amazon. You have to pay for it on Amazon or it is on TV right now. But I highly recommend at least trying the first few episodes on Netflix if you have Netflix because it is an excellent TV show. I do only have one fail for April, which is really great that there is only one thing that I hated. And that is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I did get this in a Nipsey bag, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because I will review this in my next Nipsey video once April's bag comes in. I hated this mascara. Like, hated it. This is what the wand looks like. It's very pointed. This mascara did absolutely nothing for my lashes. The formula is really wet and it dries down very, very slow. Your lashes are wet forever and... I just, it did nothing for me. And I know this mascara is probably like $25 at the at least. So it's not worth it to me at all, especially when my favorite mascaras are anywhere between like $4 and like $8. So this is, this is just not worth it to me. This is a horrible mascara. So that is all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to subscribe, please feel free. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.